Listen, I, I really, I apologize for sort of canceling at the last minute, Stuart. You're going to have to run into Adam sooner or later, Brooke. What? Never mind. You know, I, I never have liked uh, New Year's Eve parties anyway. I never, never did like them. I just, the only reason I, I promised to go was... Because you thought I needed some cheering up? I... Why don't you put on a pot of tea and I'll break out the checkerboard. Haley, the place looks sensational. Thank you. So do you. Marriage to my father sure does have its privileges. Oh, do I leave the tags on? No, I know Adam's handy work anywhere. Well, he's only been married a week and he's already starting to spoil me. He had the dress flown in from Paris. Well, week one anniversary is couture fashion. And as I recall, we too is a membership to the Grand Club. Ah, well, who could blame me for spoiling Eliza? After all, a rare gem. Deserves a platinum setting. I know the drill. How many ex-wives have I survived? Who could have known all those years you were taking notes? Ah, uh, champagne. Please. Hallie, is that Adam Chandler? Yeah, the one and only. <laughs> so, uh, how do you know it? What, are you kidding me? McHare didn't tell you? No. Well, that lovable old guy is my father. Adam Chandler, the mighty mogul, is your dad. I'm impressed. <laughs> Gloria, you look lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, stunning dress. Adam has a thing for tearing these out. He always said that a rare gem deserves it. Alvaro, I'm nice swimming into you. I'll be back with that champagne. Well, I'm off to find the ladies, right? So, is married life everything you thought it would be? Actually, being married to Adam has exceeded my expectations. He is noisy. Now, don't be a party pooper, darling. Liza, how long do you plan to keep this up? Excuse me? Stop talking like you don't know me. Familiarity breeds contempt. I'm having fun tonight. You want an appointment to talk to me? Call Iris. I tried three times. You're either always in a meeting or on the phone. Well, I've been very busy. You're not busy. You're angry. Come on, do me a favor, all right? Give me a break. Let me out of the deep freeze. I haven't the vaguest clue what you're talking about. Fine, okay? I'm talking about what happened between you and me at that end. What happened at the end is a closed subject. I'm opening it. Because sooner or later, one way or another, you and I are going to have to clear the air and put this thing behind us. In case you haven't noticed, I've already put it behind me. What you're me. doing is punishing me because I saw you with your guard down. You hate yourself for being vulnerable, and you're, you're kicking me for it. Well, I got news for you. You didn't do anything to be ashamed of. I'll be damned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life saying I'm sorry because I cared enough to try to stop you. Well, you, you care about me? More than you know. Please, you're breaking my heart. I didn't mean to. You give yourself too much credit. You don't give yourself enough. Too little, too late. Story of my life. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I think you know. There you are, darling. I was wondering what happened to you. <laughs> uh, is there anything wrong? No. Everything's just peachy. Ah. What was that all about? Creative differences. Doesn't matter. Ask me to dance. You care to dance around the floor with me? Why, yes. Oh, well, then smile. <laughs> wow, so much the witching hour, huh? Yeah, we'll be. You know, it's already uh, New Year's Eve in Australia now. No. So I've already had my New Year's in spirit, you know? So why don't I race over to the Santos house? That way Matt can come back here and he can spend New Year's Eve with you. Really? You would do that? Sure. For old Lang Syne, no problem. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. Thanks. You're sweet. But I don't need cheering up. Adam tried to pull a fast one and broke your heart. He bruised it a little. That's all. You still love him? Oh, Stuart, I did love him for a long time. 
He just made it impossible to keep on loving him, so I had to let go. Letting go is hard. Yeah, it is hard. It hurts. But I'm not sad. Really, I'm not sad. I'm angry. I'm furious. With Adam? No, not with Adam. With myself. I mean, how many times does history have to repeat itself before I learned my lesson? I wasted practically another year and a half of my life trying to get something back that was wrong in the first place. I mean, how, how stupid can you be? Well, listen, don't bother to answer that because the truth is self-evident. Anyway, I have no intention of setting myself up for another fall. With Adam? Or with anybody? Now, here's the plan. We're going to pop a monster bowl of popcorn, we're going to plop down in front of the TV, and we're going to watch the ball drop at Times Square, okay? Yeah? You're a sweet boy, Tanner. <laughs> hey, well, don't you tell Rosa, but you're still my favorite gal. Right? <laughs> you, you two have to go. You go. You go along. I'll be fine. Look, Isabella, you don't understand. Look, I don't know a soul at the party. Come on, you keep me company. Hey, you still got the makings for the El Bon Diga soup? <laughs> Matteo. Uh, yes? Matteo. Yeah. Give Haley my love. Okay. Tanner and I will be needed in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. let's make this a good year, huh? Papa would want that way. Come here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yesterday I needed to find you. Yeah. Come on, scram. All right, I can, I, I'm going to make it, I think. Buddy, listen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I owe you one. <laughs> I owe you one. Happy New Year. Okay, good. Scram. All right. Oh, Stuart, I'm not interested in becoming romantically entangled anytime soon. I'm, I mean, I, you know, I'm in the process of adopting Laura, and, I mean, Jamie keeps me hopping from morning <laughs> till night, and I have the shelter, and I have tempo. Yeah, you're one busy lady. <laughs> And you give, and you give, and you give. Until there's nothing left for you, Brooke. You really deserve to have someone here that you can, that you can come home to and tell your troubles to and, and laugh with and make love with. You need somebody to do for you what Cindy did for me. I love you, Stuart. I love you, too. Okay, I'm going to get out of your hair. Okay, you go. Have fun with uh, Scott and Laura. Oh, uh, I don't know. Since, since Cindy died, uh, New Year's Eve doesn't mean that much anymore. I think I've just, uh, just gone home and count my blessings. What am I? Okay. Okay. Ooh. Get home safe. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If you want to unload her, you need grounds. Would adultery be sufficient? If I can prove that Eliza has been unfaithful to me, can I divorce her without losing a cent? Dame Chance would definitely be on your side. into my eyes and act like you can't get enough of me. I love a cognac. How riveting. Mm, yes, why don't you fetch it for me? Mm, do I look like a St. Bernard to you, Adam? Brides are supposed to pamper their husbands. Do 
and get used to it. Don't you. The new Mrs. Chanberry. Stunning. Not stunning enough to support for life. Relax. You're a lucky man. No, is that the advice I pay through the nose for and by the hour? As soon as your wife takes a lover, you'll be sprung from the alimony trap. I'm sure any number of men would be glad to oblige you. I only require one. Oh, come on, Liza. Can't you pencil me in between a massage and a manicure? Have you always been this relentless? Are you or are you not employed by WRCW? I'm not working tonight. Well, your days aren't available either, so what exactly does that leave? I thought you enjoyed autonomy. And I don't need to hold your hand all the time. I thought you enjoyed making decisions. That is what a manager does, isn't it? A good manager can delegate. You should just consider your... You want to done the dance floor. Excuse me, I'm being paged. Lies is dangling on the brink of an indiscretion. One gentle nudge, and she'll self-destruct. My compliments. <laughs> oh, on what exactly? Exactly, well, the ambiance, the food, the menu, the music. That's it? <laughs> Your partner here's a hard sell. Can you cue me in, in on adequate praise? Uh, no, I think you're pretty much on your own. Thanks a lot. You could start by complimenting my fiancé on his savvy, savvy business. Oh. Tell us how we're visionaries and wish us continued success. Uh, yes, all of the above. And I happily admit that I was totally wrong and you were totally right. <laughs> Is that pretty well cover it? For now. For now. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Hey. hey. Now what, Mama shoot you back to the party? No, oh, man, half a glass of champagne, a garbo flick, your mother is asleep. Oh. Whoa, Rosa too? No, Rosa's been stuck in front of the television. Who's the unfortunate victim? <laughs> Excuse me? You look like a snake studying his prey. No, smitten bridegroom admiring his bride. From afar. Well, Liza doesn't like to be smothered. Then why does she marry the king of the Choco? Oh, well, once upon a time, I was mildly possessive, but I've, I've, uh, transcended all that. Since when? Liza needs her independence. I'm happy to oblige. Right. When she needed a solitary retreat, it never occurred to me to object. So she asked her opinion? She needed some time alone, and I encouraged her. Unfortunately, Tad wasn't as understanding. You know, he followed her to the inn. Mm-hmm. Tad's life is only friend. Well, friends don't usually disrupt each other's love lives. Unless the friendship has a sexual component. In my opinion, Tad may not realize it, but he wanted to rekindle that spark. Your soul may have evolved, but your jealousy bone is definitely intact. No, no, I'm... Actually, I'm concerned about you. Your bow is notoriously fickle. I don't want to see you hurt, Gloria. Well, well, are we reliving old times? Hmm. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> Ooh, too much reminiscing can be a fire hazard. Lingering passions can ignite an inferno. Oh, well, I am on fire for only one person, the woman that I married. You mean, this time around? Unclear on that. Uh, Liza and I, uh, communicate well. Mm-hmm, almost telepathically. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's time to, uh, blow this pop? Are you reading my mind again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, yeah, same to you. Yes, sir. Take care. <sighs> Happy New Year. Oh, thank you. You too. Congratulations once more. Thank you. Yeah. Come any time. I wouldn't have missed it. <laughs> we'll have dinner soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.